In this video, we're gonna talk about the toolbar in our Motion Manager. Starting from left to right, we have Calculate. Now this will calculate any changes that we've made in the motion study and recreate the motion study for us. Next, we have Play from Start. This will replay the animation from the beginning. Next, we have Play. This will play the animation from whatever current point in the timeline it is. For instance, we drag our timeline bar to two and a half seconds. It'll play from that point. We can also drag the bar to any point in our timeline, play it from there as well. Next, we have our playback speed. You have the option to either slow down or speed up the playback. We can change the playback mode from normal, loop, or reciprocate. Then we can also save out the playback. If you have Photo View 360 turned on in your add-ins menu, you can render the screen or you can use Photo View and actually do a photorealistic animation render. We have options to save it out as an AVI or as separate image files. If you're doing large animations, it's always a good idea to do separate image files and piece them back together in another software. Within the saved animation file, we have options to change our aspect ratio, increase our frames per second, and even use the SOLIDWORKS task scheduler to save this out at a later date. Next, we have our animation wizard. This lets us do things like create a rotation of the model, do exploded views, or even collapse. You can see there are a few more options that are not available when we're doing a standard animation. Next, we have options to do an auto key. Now this is a good option to have on because we can manually drag the timeline, we can right click, and then place a key. As you can see, when we place a key, we're adding motion of a component. We can also drag keys around, manually placing them at certain instances. So you can see by moving that key, we change the change bar to yellow. So this is driven up until this point, and then it's driving the motion from here. Next, we can apply a motor. This applies to both rotary and linear motors. We can do a motor on things like the hydraulic cylinder here, or if we had rotary components, we could add a rotary motor to them as well. There are several different types of motors you can add. You can do a constant speed, certain distance, for instance, one inch, and we can do that from a six second duration to start at six seconds and end, let's say, at seven seconds. And that'll allow us to drive the motion of our components by using that motor. So that's a real handy tool. The rest of the tools, such as springs, dampers, force, contact, and gravity, have to be done within either a basic motion study or a motion analysis.